All right, well, this is a great story. There's a 90-day challenge that's underway uh, to train 10 rescue horses. ABC7 veterinarian Dr. Katie Nelson introduces us now to the only local team competing. Okay, here they are. Meet Davidsonville-based trainer Jessica Flaherty and the spirited rescue horse that she's paired with named Robin. Come. Up. Come. Up. Jessica Flaherty certainly has her work cut out for her. Up. Yes, good. Up. Uh, uh, uh. She's training this Arabian gelding Up. named Robin for the Equine Comeback Challenge. Too fast. Good boy. Ten horse trainers paired with ten rescue horses will face off in an agility cool. style obstacle course October 14th at the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. None of the horses have any prior saddle training. If I were to take a horse that had never been ridden to train for something like that, I'd usually give them about a year and a half to two years. Uh, so 90 days is a little scary, but they do call it a challenge, and it's exactly what it is. Robin was seized as part of a starvation case from outside of Cleveland, Ohio. He was so badly neglected that his bridle had grown into the bridge of his nose. And while Robin is still anxious about a lot of things, Flaherty says he has made great progress since mid-July. She can now put a bridle and saddle on him, ride him, and even get him to walk over obstacles. All the way over, keep going. Good boy. It certainly doesn't hurt that she always keeps her pockets filled with treats. I don't know if he counts them when I put them in my pocket or if he can smell them, but as soon as he knows I'm out of treats, he's, he's done working for the day. Flaherty is a certified master trainer, but she doesn't do it professionally. And since Robin is the smallest horse in the competition and at 13 years old, the oldest, you could call these two the underdogs. I don't really go into it with the idea of, of trying to win. Flaherty says she's always wanted to help rescue horses and hopes this training competition helps Robin get adopted once the competition is over. Being able to be a part of it um, to help a horse like Robin who who really didn't have anything else going for him uh, it's just a really it's a big deal and it's it's a it's an honor. Dr. Katie Nelson ABC 7 News. And good luck Robin. Go Robin.